Let's talk toothpaste. I like toothpaste, and after making the most pointless series in the world of me brushing my teeth, I want to talk about toothpaste. And no, I'm not a health professional. I'm just giving my personal opinion on a bunch of different toothpastes. And do I like this toothpaste? Do I not like this toothpaste? Why do I like this toothpaste? Why do I dislike this toothpaste? It's just for fun. Like all these videos are just for fun, so don't take it to heart. <laughs> but I have tried so many different toothpastes. I've tried many different Colgate toothpastes, Crest toothpastes, Arm & Hammer toothpastes, Hello toothpastes, which is now apparently owned by Colgate. Colgate is trying to buy everything. I didn't realize how much Colgate owned. I thought Colgate just made toothpaste and mouthwash, but apparently they own like different kinds of soap, like soft soap and a bunch of other stuff. Toothbrushes. I thought they just made toothpaste and toothbrushes and mouthwash, but whatever. They're trying to buy out everything. Blah. But let's start with Colgate. I've tried Colgate Total, which I think Colgate Total is probably one of the best toothpastes overall from Colgate because it's super foamy. I love the super foamy sensation. It's a stannous fluoride toothpaste, which I feel like personally stannous fluoride is a little bit better than sodium fluoride because they both do the same thing. They strengthen enamel, they prevent cavities. But the thing with stannous fluoride is that it, it acts like an antibacterial. So in addition to strengthening enamel and fighting cavities, it also kills a lot of <laughs> bacteria in the mouth. That's why stannous fluoride toothpaste tend to have the, the marketing of whole mouth health because on all the Colgate Total toothpaste it says whole mouth health because it, it's good for the gums it's a good for anti-gingivitis because obviously like I said it kills a lot of bad bacteria so the taste is kind of similar to like a standard Colgate toothpaste like just the regular Colgate toothpaste from what I've noticed it tastes kind of similar to just regular Colgate toothpaste I tried the regular Colgate toothpaste recently and I'm I'm kind of wondering what do they do they changed something in the regular Colgate toothpaste because I remember I haven't used the regular in years I just felt like using it because of the memories it was only a dollar for a little travel size thing it was a small tube for a dollar I was like whatever I want to try it just for the memories and it's a lot foamier like it tastes a little bit different but the biggest thing that I noticed is that it's really foamy it's like a really thick foam and the regular Colgate toothpaste wasn't like that many years ago back when I was still a dumb teenager the standard Colgate was what I used every day because I figured toothpaste is toothpaste who cares I just used that because that's what my parents always got I know why they got it now because it's the cheapest most basic bitch toothpaste but back when I was a teenager oh I farted <laughs> back when I was a teenager using that toothpaste I don't remember it being nearly that foamy it was just like standard foamy but it was more of like when I was done brushing my teeth and I was just like brushing my front teeth and just letting it all drip out into the sink it was a lot more like liquidy but when I used the Colgate toothpaste now it just it was there was just like clumps of foam just like clumping out it was like super super thick and foamy it's like they did something to it to make it a lot more foamy so it, it, it's like kind of similar to the Colgate Total because Colgate Total is really thick and foamy too and I like really thick and foamy toothpaste like my favorite toothpaste overall if we're not taking the ingredients into consideration I'm just talking about like what is my favorite toothpaste overall as far as like the taste and the consistency the texture the foaminess I like Crest Pro Health Clean Mint that is my favorite. It, it does have a lot of ingredients that I don't really want to have in my toothpaste. And I know that a long time ago, like who cares what's in my toothpaste? It all does the same damn thing. It cleans out your teeth and prevents cavities. But over time, like, well, basically when the pandemic started and I was bored out of my mind, I started looking up toothpaste ingredients and I started to realize that a lot of toothpaste ingredients are not very good for you over the long term. So I decided to start 
maybe looking at every toothpaste in existence because I had more than enough free time, so why not? So I started looking up just about every toothpaste that existed that I could find to try to find better quality toothpaste, like more naturally friendly toothpaste or whatever, something that doesn't have like a bunch of artificial garbage and chemicals and all that junk. Because we all know that artificial food dyes are made from toxic sources like petroleum, motor oil, so that's not really good. So I'm pretty much on strike with artificial colors. And as far as artificial flavors and sweeteners go, like sodium saturin and, and you know, those kind of sweeteners, I could, it's kind of a mixed bag for me. Like those are kind of toxic too. They're made from petroleum. They're sourced from petroleum. That's from what I've heard and seen. All the, <laughs> that's where it's made from. And it's just, it's not good for you. So I try to have alternative sweeteners like xylitol, stevia, you know, higher quality stuff like that because those don't have any side effects they're not toxic you can eat those just fine so you figure it'd be better in your toothpaste like over the years like i've just i've never cared about this kind of stuff because it's like i kind of thought like how everyone else would think like who cares you only use a little dab of it on your toothbrush you brush and it, like it's only in your mouth for like a couple minutes it's not like you're eating it but what you don't realize is that your mouth is extremely absorbent. It's like 10 times more absorbent than your skin. So sure, like you can put certain things on your skin and it most likely isn't gonna be absorbed into the bloodstream. But if you put a lot of that same stuff in your mouth, parts of it can be absorbed into the bloodstream a lot easier because your mouth is very absorbent. Like for example, put some nicotine, put a nicotine patch, some chewing tobacco in, the, in your cheek. Put it in your mouth and your cheek. Chew on some chewing tobacco for a few minutes and tell me how quickly you start to feel a buzz. That's a general idea of how absorbent your mouth is. Like, if you can get a nicotine buzz that quickly from putting some chewing tobacco in your cheek, in like five or 10 minutes, you start to feel a buzz because it's absorbing the nicotine in your bloodstream. Go figure. Hi, Popo. But anyway, back to toothpaste. Let me guess, he's gonna turn around because the stupid stove is over there. Anyway, don't distract me, I'm talking about toothpaste. He's gonna turn around, isn't he? Whatever, he's gonna come over here and start talking to me and I'm gonna be talking about toothpaste. So we're gonna go back to the Colgate. The Colgate Total is the best toothpaste overall. But over the past few years, I was using Colgate Max Clean. Here we go, you can see the cop now. I was using Colgate Max Clean ever since mint because it was extra foamy. And I like the extra foam. But it has some ingredients in it that I don't really like, like titanium dioxide. I mean, okay, first off, titanium dioxide does not do anything. It's just for cosmetics. And then there was that damn cop is making me nervous. I can't focus on this damn video. Like I'm trying to think and when I know someone's staring at me, I get distracted. You know the cop can't do anything because of social distancing. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the Colgate Max Clean. I think there was two different versions of the Colgate Max Clean. There was Max Clean and Max Fresh. I, I don't really care about the fresh. I like Max Clean because I like the foaminess and it was super minty. Oh. Now, as I'm being distracted by someone fucking staring at me, I'm trying to think of other Colgate toothpaste that I used. I think I tried the Colgate baking soda I know Crest and Colgate both make a baking soda toothpaste. Oh yeah, there's Colgate Zero. What the fuck is this at? Okay, we're at 10 minutes. So I'm at, 
I tried Colgate Zero because I, when I wanted to find a more high quality toothpaste that wasn't full of bullshit. Well, basically, Colgate Zero has, well, the name implies zero artificial sweeteners, zero colors, zero bullshit. The problem that I had with it was that it still had lauryl sulfate. And I don't really like lauryl sulfate. Like, I think it's made from coconut. Like, a lot of these foaming ingredients and soaps are made from coconut. I'm not entirely sure about lauryl sulfate, but I know with lauryl sulfate, there's a lot of processing involved, and that's why it's a little bit toxic, and it's probably one of the most harsh foaming ingredients that you can use. You know what? I'm gonna walk away from this damn cop. I'm trying to focus on this damn video. These graveyard cops never have anything better to do than to hassle people that are just trying to talk. But yeah, the thing with the Colgate Zero is that, well, I don't want Laurel Sulfate. Couldn't they put like a Sulfate 3? Anyway, let's move on. We're at 11 minutes. I could have been done with this. Anyway, let's move on to Crest. My favorite Crest toothpaste of all time is Crest Pro Health Clean Mint. Now, of all the Crest, Crest toothpaste I've tried, I've tried the standard Crest. I've tried the. I can't even talk right now. Okay, let's start over. I've tried the standard Crest toothpaste. I've tried Crest Pro Health Clean Mint. I've tried Crest Pro Health Gum Detoxify. I've tried Crest Gro uh, Pro Health uh, Gum and Enamel Repair. They're pretty much the same damn thing. But I still feel like the Crest Pro... Oh yeah, I tried the Crest Pro Health Advanced. And that was a little bit disappointing. Because, well, it tasted... It looked and tasted and smelled. It was pretty much like the regular Crest toothpaste. Like the standard Crest toothpaste. Like, it, it literally looked and tasted and smelled exactly like the standard Crest toothpaste. I'm wondering why is this bottle so small and why is it so expensive? Like, is the only difference is that the Crest Pro Health Advanced has stannous fluoride in it? Is stannous fluoride really that expensive? Because it's not. You can get a big tube of Colgate Total for the same price. I just, I don't understand. There's probably something about it that I'm not understanding. So, I decided to try that anyway. Let's record the popo. I decided to try that anyway. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna try it again, it's a waste of money. So, out of all the Crest toothpaste that I've tried, I still like the Crest Pro Health Clean Mint the best. I don't know why. I just, I love that toothpaste. I don't even care about the ingredients. I would get that toothpaste just for the taste. It's so amazing. It has stannous fluoride. So, that's probably like the best go-to. If like you just want everyday toothpaste that kind of has a little bit of benefit for everything, stannous fluoride is probably the way to go. And supposedly stannous fluoride can stain the surface of your teeth, which isn't really a big deal. But at this point, they've formulated all of these stannous fluoride toothpastes to the point of where they don't stain your teeth. So I've never had any problem with staining teeth, but it's just something to keep in mind that apparently stannous fluoride stains your teeth. If you use like just a plain old stannous fluoride solution, we got one minute left and then I'm gonna go walk somewhere else where I can make a part two to this video where uh, I'm not being watched. I'm not being watched. Yeah, either way, why would I even wanna make a video right here? There's always popo patrols going up and down this street. So now he's just gonna stare at me like he's thinking I'm gonna try to open the back door into Costco wholesale to take some of the rotisserie chicken. <laughs> but yeah, if I had to choose overall, like no, like putting the ingredients and the quality overall aside, if I just had to choose an overall, like my personal favorite toothpaste, it would be Crest Pro Health Clean Mint. Now go look for a part two because I'm gonna go somewhere where uh, I can be alone because I know people are staring at me watching this video, but I don't want to deal with Popo Patrol fucking stalking me. So go look for a part two of this toothpaste vlog. Stay tuned for more videos. See you folks.